Get ready for a great Halloween prank. This is sweet. Make a shriek in the middle of the night and wake up all the kids, get the dogs barking. It's going to be a great Halloween. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Midnight Science Club. I'm Jake Wizard 4, and he's not. <laughs> and who are you? I am RJ. You look different. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to your hair? Where have you, have you been doing something lately? I actually joined the Army. Let's give the man a hand, everybody. 15 million people. This Robert, he just joined the military. He's going to protect us. But really, I'm proud to know you, man. Wizard <laughs> handshake, gotcha. <laughs> so before you left, I want to make sure you came to Midnight Science Club again. All right. You've been around here for a while. You've been an important part of us. I'm proud of you, man. Really proud of you. Wait, that was pretty cool. So it's Halloween, right? I just love to torment the kids in the neighborhood. You know, it's just open season. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this is an old wizard trick. Either it's going to be a screaming banshee yeah. or a UFO. Do you have a niece or nephew at home? I do. I actually have two nieces and one nephew. So this do it for this is for them, right? Halloween night. It's quiet, and they're going to hear a noise outside. And how would you make that noise with something you've got around the house? The screaming banshee or the UFO, I don't know which one it's going to sound like. All you need to do is to find a piece of aluminum. I just, I, aluminum rod, I got it at the hardware store. Aluminum is just the right mass that we can get it vibrating. And if we can get it vibrating at the right number of vibrations per second, it'll put out a sound at that certain frequency. So how in the world would you get aluminum to vibrate? I'm going to find the center point, the balance, the center of mass. Oh, you hear that? You hear it vibrating? Yep. Mm -hmm. Kind of a, a high-pitched noise. Like a bell, bell, bell. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like much, right? <laughs> but I can't mean we can get it vibrating, right? Make it continually vibrate. And the way to do it is to take your fingers, and it's just like playing a violin string, like a violin bow going across the string. It grabs, and then it releases, grabs, releases, grabs. It's like going down a, a slipper slide in the park. We're going to slide our fingers down this rod. And what I did is I found the center point now, so right about there is the balance point, right? Get my finger on it. That's where I'm gonna hold it. And then I'm gonna slide my fingers down the rod. And this takes a little practice. If you squeeze it too hard, it'll muffle it. And if you don't squeeze it hard enough, it won't grab. Take some steel wool and just kind of clean it off to get the finger cheese off of there. You know? <laughs> and I've also got some rosin. Where do you get rosin? Where do you get rosin? Well, if you don't know somebody plays a violin or something or a music teacher, you can get some tree sap. That's pretty good, isn't it? And I mean, if I was a kid, that would definitely scare me. It would be at midnight and it's outside the window going, what's that noise? And different pieces of aluminum are going to give a different frequency. Oh, he's got it. What's that noise, mama? What is it outside the window? That gave me a headache, brother. You're gonna to have to make up a story to go with this, it, right? It is kind of a piercing sound. It's a piercing sound. I don't know what you're gonna do with a piercing sound on Halloween, you'll figure it out. A piercing sound that will aggravate everybody, make all the cats in the house, the dogs bark. Oh yeah. So you know that thing's outside. That, that, oh, you've got it. You're holding it at the center of mass. And that's just a piece of aluminum, go figure. Wow, that is impressive. Well, that's called, that's a demonstration of resonance. You know how when you're out pushing a, somebody on a swing, they say, I want to go higher, right? You have to push them just at the right time. If you push them too soon, you know, you'll smack into each other, right? And if you push them too late, you miss. So when they come swinging back towards you, you got to go, hey, push them at the right time. That's called resonating. So what's happening when I try to stroke this thing, if I can get one vibration and then my skin grabs and releases and give it another one and another one, it'll build up a resonance frequency inside the rod. But anyway, is this a good Halloween trick? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna be sweet. So what do you think, Banshee or UFO? I think it's probably more of a UFO sound. UFO kind of. sound, yeah. So say goodbye, Robert. See you guys. Using a little bit of science knowledge to have some fun on Halloween. I can't think of anything better to do with it. That's pretty cool. We're gonna miss you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Now, if you get caught doing this and get in trouble, I don't know you. It was him, RJ. I don't know Jake. I don't know what you're talking about. RJ, we're RJ. <laughs>